So we had a huge can of worms that was open this week and pretty much leaked all over the place. You know when you're about to go catch some bait fish out at the bass pond, get some night crawlers from the store, pop them open and you lose control of them and they all go flying? That's what happened here. So I'm gonna give you all a little bit of backstory here. So the guy in question today, his name is Jason Beck. And if you don't know him, I had no idea who he was before this, but he is an associate director, total force requirements and sourcing policy office of the secretary of defense. And with that comes a security clearance. So this dude is decently high up in the government. And uh, he went to dinner the other day. And you know, I gotta say this guy is a huge cupcake. I'm not even really sure the definition of what that word means. And terms of describing a human, but it just sounds correct for this guy. It's really hard to even give this thing an introduction, so why don't we just watch it and uh, I'll break it down as we go here. I would like to do some work on the state's monopoly on violence. On the what? The state's monopoly on violence. State's monopoly, what is that? Um, so... <clears throat> it, it's the idea that this, the state, meaning the country, um, is the only sort of legitimate purveyor of uh, violence and force of force. Uh -huh. um, we're the only ones with guns, right? First, y'all see what I mean when I, I'm saying cupcake? It's not because the guy he's talking to is eating a cupcake. Anyways, what did you say, sir? Uh-huh. Um, we're the only ones with guns, right? We're the only ones with guns, right? Okay, well that's stupid. If you read that at face value, that's stupid. Where do you think you live, bro? This isn't North Korea. This is America. American citizens have guns. What? Where is your head, man? But if you go back to what he said in the beginning, he's talking in code here because he doesn't want to just come out and say it, but he ends up coming out and saying it regardless. But what he's saying is he wants a monopoly, violence enforcement of force. What that means to me is that they want to be the only ones who can show any kind of force. And then he goes on to say, well, us being the only ones with guns. Meaning, he's not a fan of you and me having guns. But he is a fan of talking like he drinks four Shirley Temples in a night while he's watching the new Barbie movie. So, I mean, I guess you can't like everything, sir. Continue, though. Going back to your topic, it's like the state should be the only one that has access to these sorts of firearms, essentially. Yeah. 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 The way that sounded, it's legitimately like if you ask a full-grown man if he drives a white Jetta. Yeah. yeah. I get my nails done too, three days a week. This is our government. Why don't you put him in an army ad and see how many people join? And then we kind of get down to brass tacks um, as far as what this brute of a man wants to do what his plan is for Americans. And they always shout Second Amendment, Second Amendment. I think we should repeal it and take them all away. Whatever, just take them all. Oh, I made it funny. We should repeal it, take them all away. Dude, what kind of fairy land do you live in? One, the fact that you were sitting there giggling about taking away a right of American citizens. Oh gosh, there's so many things that you could do. On guns, particularly, would guns. just be repeal it, repeal it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think we have a need for it. I mean, it just shows where we're at in this country. And for everybody who's like, oh no, it's just this one guy. Look, dude, this is how our government is. Have you seen Dan Crenshaw's latest BS? With data and with access to your, you know, app that you're addicted to, you can vastly manipulate um, an entire population, which the Chinese have done. Already. Are you worried that our intelligence agencies are doing the same thing domestically? Am I worried that, and I, well, I know that they're not. I, well, I know that they're not. I, I know that they're not. They're not manipulating Americans? They're not yes, controlling I know. a flow of information? Yeah, did you have some evidence otherwise that you'd like to share? I mean, okay. Congressman, you asked for an example of the U.S. intelligence agencies meddling in our information. What about before the 2020 election when 50 members came out and said the Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation? Does that count? No, because, I mean, they were they were retired. They were there's, retired, there's, there's but, no, but the, no FBI, the FBI had the laptop for over a year. There's nothing even close to what TikTok is. 
It gets better though. How would you? How do we deal with these crazy people though? Like they don't want to give them up. You have to take them. So what would be like a federal solution? But I wonder if you would see a similar solution to like school integration. Yeah. You know where they did have to move, you know mobilize the National Guard. How many people in the National Guard, you know, maybe were personally opposed to integration, but still followed orders and made it happen? Hopefully they would have to follow the orders. Right. Because that's what they'd have to do. Right. You know? Yeah. If it's a, if it's a lawfully given order. Correct. <laughs> what is this, man? Jason, look, bro. If I, if I can call you bro. Let's bring you back down to earth for a second because you are somewhere where you just believe anything is possible, I guess, including messing with Americans' rights. You are recommending that the National Guard is deployed to collect Americans' guns. Think about that for a second. First, how do you think that would go? How many of those people still have a father alive, a uncle alive, a grandpa alive? How many phone calls do you think they would get as soon as they're mobilized saying, hey, Sonny, I love you, but if you come to take my guns, your ass is grass. How many calls do you think they would get? And then if they decided to ignore the calls and follow the orders of, I don't know, this dude or their commander, do you think people would be like, oh, yeah, oh, you need our guns? Here you go. It would be like taking a knife and cutting your tongue out and handing it to a National Guard member. Oh, you want my First Amendment? Let me just cut my tongue out and then I'll just my whole life. Oh, you want my guns? Okay, I just won't be able to defend myself and my Second Amendment can take a hike. Now, once again, guys, this isn't a candidate for something. This isn't somebody who's real low level. This dude directly works for the Secretary of Defense. In fact, he writes stuff for them to present in Congress. So look, I think I've made fun of him enough as far as just his appearance and, and how he sounds. If you're planning on sending somebody like this to my house and saying, uh, sir, I'd like four cupcakes and your guns. <laughs> the whole night's just gonna be comedy. But for the people who are like, oh no, well, some of their gun control measures make sense. I hope you understand that they don't want gun control. This is the perfect example. This dude doesn't even understand the Constitution. He didn't care about it. He just says, well, as long as the government has guns and the Americans don't, we're good. And we'll do whatever we have to do. We'll send the National Guard, or like he hilariously put it, We'll just go and take them. We'll go and confiscate them. I'm just trying to really picture how this would go. Comment how y'all think this would go. And look, I know the government thinks, oh, well, they'll be scared because if they don't give them up, they'll be prosecuted. Well, that only works to a certain extent for a man. When you take a man's right away to self-defense, you're skating a fine line as far as what he will do to protect himself and his family and what he won't do. And I can pretty much promise you, if it came to something like this, 99.9% .9 of Americans would flip you the bird as soon as you walked up to the door.